Wednesday, October the 3rd, 2018, and I'm back in um, my own locality today, doing a walk that encompasses Harold Odell Country Park, uh, and I'm going to be following the Great Ooze Way, hoping to get a 10 miler done today. This is going to be the format now of the winter months. Well, it's not really winter yet, but it's a mild grey October day. But the um, chances of me doing train bound walks during the winter months are decreasing now as I do my other walks further afield. Anyway, it's one o'clock. Should be done by about 5.30, I think. Let's press on past the cafe and toilets etc open till five stop serving food at three apparently nice little gazebo here and a number of tables for picnics etc a view from one of the hides next to the grebe lake I believe these are former gravel pits, but uh, not 100% certain. Passed a number of strategically placed benches, which is good, because it's uh, coming up for lunch time. I've only just started the walk, so it uh, could be a good point to have lunch. So there you have it. And as I suspected, yeah, it's a former quarry. Another information panel here about what you might see. Nothing too unusual. Herons, swans. Now joining the Ooze Valley Way. Further view of the smaller of the lakes I now discover the larger one will be visible shortly I hope got away laid slightly and lost 20 minutes but uh, now back on track into the village of Odell with its thatch cottages passing the Bell pub Odell the Bell in Odell appropriately named Always good to see. I bet that rethatch wasn't cheap. 40, 50k. Approaching Odell Church, where I propose to have my lunch. Yeah, it's actually All Saints Odell. So, just coming up two o'clock, and I found a bench just outside the church. Appropriately enough, the benefactor is a bloke called Odell. Walter Odell, an American, who lived to be 90 years old. Quarter past two, lunch has been had, and we're now continuing on with the journey. There's a footpath, I believe here, shown on the map but clearly no longer in use. So that's another one that's lost. Not massively well signposted this walk. Then having said that, above it is. So I'll take that back. Now on to some pleasant field edge walking. Some autumn colours starting to appear. Of course, some, do, some uh, trees are prematurely diseased anyway, like this one in front of me, I believe. Wind's picking up. Bit of a wind farm over there. 
horrible things. Views across the valley. Not sure which airport uh, those uh, jets would be approaching. But there's some jet noise up here. I'm on the borders of Northamptonshire. So it could be Luton. Could be Nottingham. Don't know of any others. Nice palette of colours over there now. About another month and they'll all be gone, those leaves. Got some winds ahead of us, that's for sure, to remove them. Now onto a bit of woodland walking, utilising the North Beds Heritage Trail as well. Nice view here from uh, up on the hill as I just encounter a load of young ladies doing cross country or attempting to. Clearly a private school I'd imagine. At this time of night anyway. Wonderful view, you can hear the old PE teacher there yelling in the background. Quite an amazing fungus there. Incredible. I'm walking down a rather exclusive road in Sharnbrook. Lodge Road, where there's no signage to indicate you're on the Ouse Valley Way, but uh, according to my OS map, this is indeed correct. That's OS Maps Online by the way. Very good uh, app that. Well worth 20 quid a year. Past Shinebrook Village Hall with its uh, Army Cadet Force there. Shinebrook Church, name of which I do not know. It's St Peter's. Sean Brook. Okay, I've managed to find the uh, Hughes Valley Way again. Now headed towards Pinch Mill Islands. As you can see, it's uh, signposted again here, but very poorly in between here and the last signage. Interesting feature there, just outside a rather modern exclusive residence very big residence actually but I wonder what that feature was in times gone by overlooking these marshes and that's the vista that you get from the tower behind me well, according to the OS map that was a former windmill which would make sense Lovely spread of uh, those silver willow over there. Regular viewers of my videos will know that they always uh, catch my eye. Now walking alongside the ooze, I believe. A series of uh, Precarious footbridges getting you across these rivers. Passing a park home on my right, which I believe to be the grounds of Brook Farm, heard a map. Heard of, uh, is it Frisians or Herefords? In the dung heap over there. Anyway, they're a good couple of hundred yards from me, so I'm okay. First style of the day, down by Brookhouse Farm. Missive access across this field. 
as you can see from the uh, clearly indicated footpath. Turned out into a decent afternoon now. Lucky with the weather today. Just leaving the village or hamlet even of Radwell. Now walking through the grounds of a golf course. I've diverted my um, or deviated my route slightly because uh, it actually seems longer uh, on OS maps. They're usually pretty good at their distances, but today's one seems longer than I anticipated, so I've deviated it a bit. It's getting getting on. It's four o'clock already. Now taking this bridle way opposite Pavenham Park golf course that was. Yonder those trees. Looking down on Pavenham Church there, name of which I do not know. And in the distance, pretty decent vista. We're about 83 metres here, according to the OS map. Relatively high for Bedfordshire. Greensand Ridge obviously is uh, amongst the highest points and of course the Chilterns, Chilton Ridge Extension. I have seen two field fairs today, early arrivals. So, first signs of winter and as I continue to say I think it's going to be a cold, sharp snowy one just keeping in uh, with the other seasons we've had to this year another pretty decent view around about 85 90 meters up now look at that lovely contour there way that uh, field rolls. As we approach five o'clock, here we have the remnants of what was known as Freer's Wood Farm. Still on the uh, 125 Explorer map. So it hasn't been derelict that long. And on my left you have Freer's Wood. Sad to see really. Wonder what the story is behind that. Interesting bit of research on Google. It's around 90 meters here, but in the distance you can see uh, the old windmills again. Wind turbines rather. They must be higher than us. It's probably Northamptonshire over there. Very pleasant part of Bedfordshire up here. Not one, not one I'm familiar with. I think that's Odell Church in the distance there, where I had my lunch. Makes sense because in the distance there on the left is the uh, lake. Just passing the outskirts of Hill Farm there on the OS map. Just come out over there, just that hole in the hedge there will come out. Interesting little church here out on its own. Unsure which one it is. Let's just check and see if I can tell you. We're on the outskirts of Harold now, which is over there in the distance. Quarter past five, just ringing out, I can hear. Spire just ahead of us there.
not sure it's actually used as a church now because when I look on the map it's called the Chellington Centre so maybe it's been taken over for other purposes more worryingly for me the very last field I've got across today and it's jam packed full of cattle oh dear don't know how I'm going to get past this lot you can see clearly the way the path goes and there's the famous Harold Bridge interesting clearly been uh, readapted certainly something to google find out what it's all about the Chellington Centre but that's where I would have come out but luckily from the church there was another option taking me about what an extra couple of minutes to get to this point and the other option involves walking a little bit of road walking to say a couple of minutes, 500 metres or so, but it avoids the aggravation of contending with that herd. So here we are, back at base. So that was 11 and a half mile, four and a quarter hours. All done uh, by map work using OS Maps Online, which is a very useful tool for preparing your own walks albeit that today the, the uh, mileage was slightly out I feel I have to check that anyway turned into a cracking evening half past five now